Hey everybody, it's Steve here at Cryptic Woodworks. So I'm finally back on camera and I decided to put myself be, uh, over here in front of the camera this time uh, to make a bit of a change of pace. I've done a lot of rearranging in the shop so I can actually do this now. I can get uh, on the other side of my bench. Uh, normally it was up against the wall. But I want to talk about a new project that's coming together. Uh, this is when I was teasing over on my blog. So we're still at the prototype stage. But this is something I've wanted to figure out how to do for a while, and I'm so happy that it's finally come together that I can show people what I've been doing here at Cryptic Woodworks. So I've got a pretty ordinary box here. The uh, lid is not hinged on yet. That's nice so we can get in and take a look at the internals. But there's a drawer in front, but there's no handle on it, so there's no way to actually go ahead and open this drawer. So it's only until we open the box. Again, we've got a nice flat top here and nothing but this little dowel acting as a button so hitting that button is what opens up the drawer so this is a spring-loaded drawer mechanism and it follows the techniques that were used in a lot of uh, early Victorian boxes in terms of how the spring works and what I like is that we even get a nice click when we close that back up there's just something about the sound in these when they're working that's very nice and a nice whoosh when it opens up. So how about I go ahead and move the camera here and I'll be able to open this up and show you how it's working. Alright, let's go ahead and see how this works. So the first thing I'll do is open up the drawer pull that out. As we can see it's really just a standard drawer mitered the sides, put a, a face frame on it and uh, it's got a nice little lip around the bottom and we'll need that and I'll show you why. I'll take the pin out, pop this floor out, set that aside. And now we can see in the back of the box I've got these nice little flat springs and depending on how good the camera is you might be able to tell what these are made from. Uh, I've still got the teeth from an old bandsaw blade. Really this was just an old blade um, as you can see, it's so dull, I'm not even hurting myself as I run over that. But I just cut a section off of it, put some bends in it, and then fastened it to the back of the box. And then these are what provide the force to pop that drawer out. And you'd be surprised, it doesn't take a whole lot of force. You don't need a, a ton of uh, spring pressure, otherwise you'd be shooting the drawer right on out of the box. And then on the bottom of the box, in order to catch the drawer, is this little spring-loaded catch, which is just another flat piece of wood with an angle glued to it. So as the drawer pushes over it, it pushes it down, and the spring pops it back up. And sitting behind here is actually just a little pen spring. I just went and took one out of a pen, drilled a little hole in the bottom, stuck a spring in there, and that pushes it up and down. And when the pin is in, that's what allows that to move. So. This catch here then catches on the back of the drawer and that's what stops it when the drawer is closed. Push that goes ahead and opens up the drawer. Now one thing I do like about designing boxes and when I get into uh, seeing how much more I can do with it, you might say, well you've got this extra room down here. And part of it was because I needed a little bit of space to hold the catch. Uh, that interacts with the bottom of the drawer. But I also thought, you know what, I can do more with what's here. I haven't put them in yet, but what I will probably end up doing is since these are still loose, is to come in here, I'll put a small piece of steel uh, that, that will interact with a magnet so that you'd actually be able to lift up these two bottom panels. And, oh look, I even seem to have left myself a message and only I would leave myself an encoded message. So. So I'm going to have to go decode it now and figure out what I was trying to tell myself. So if anyone's interested, I can do some other videos on how I went and actually constructed these couple of mechanisms and talk a little bit more about how to build these so that you can go ahead and make your own. So I hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Bye.